were out in the Cotswolds on a beautiful early summer evening. The weather is quite calm in comparison to the past few days, so hopefully now it's settled down, the bucks will be out in their territories, re-establishing their scent markings and we'll have a good chance of seeing something tonight. I've opted for my Deer Hunter Avanti waterproof fleece jacket and Realtree Original and lightweight striped trousers to cover all eventualities. We've been in the high seat for around an hour. We've seen plenty of wildlife and plenty of movement, but nothing that we're after. As the lights begin to fade, we opt for a change of scenery. We head off to glass some fields that have historically held some decent bucks and see if anything makes an appearance. <laughs> well done, that's really helped me. Yeah, incredible stalking. I think you can probably still hear my heart rate at the moment. Yeah, so he's a beautiful little thing. Great coat as well, lovely condition. This is a perfect ground for growing huge roebuck though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Even, I mean, it's, even though this fella's only a few years old. It's the Cotswolds, and um, it's where I get my best row carcass weights, to be honest. Yeah. But, uh, well, what a great stalk at last light we had there. And uh, he was sparring with a little button buck that you've also shot over there. And uh, managed to get a nice trophy as well. So. Yeah, no, very, very pretty. But, you know, the whole experience has been fantastic. This country here is just spectacular. You take me to some amazing places. <laughs> and we've seen plenty of deer, plenty of wildlife, lots of does, yeah. lots of muntjac, yeah. barn owl. Yeah. It's all, all manner of different Stuff species. Stuff we didn't get on film as well. Yeah. Uh, anyway. And then, and as, as usually happens, if you stick it out, if you're patient, if you wait long enough, then eventually the bucks are going to step out for you. But um, Absolutely. But also, what a story, because I'll be honest with you, we didn't know we got him, well, but we've got him now. He's we do, certainly do. He's going to be on the barbecue in the next two weeks, well, I can tell you. The light's coming in, um, so we've still got plenty of work to do. We have. We've got to get him back and get him grollic. But well done, Ian. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, another great story. Probably enjoyed it. Let's get to work.